you know, there's there's a there's a rich market for music here in South Africa. It's not what I'm making. So either I move or um, I make different music. And at the moment, I'm kind of in in between doing both. So Should you be pushing something out there that is not representative of who you are as an artist? At the most fundamental level of the business, I believe that an artist has to be making music that is representative of, of where their head is at and music that represents who they are. So even if you're a pop act, okay, and that's really what you love and you loved ABBA and you loved it's all about, then, and that's who you are, great, okay? As you and I discussed last time, if you're making music that from a commercial point of view has a very niche type of thing, but it's who you are and makes you feel good, then you have to accept the fact that it might not lead to the income you want. But my experience has been, once you start making music to chase what you perceive as the paycheck, it all goes in the toilet. That's the fucked up but honest part of the music business. People can sniff a bullshit act a million miles away. So if it's just mindless pop, they'll give you a free pass as long as you're cute and you're sexy and you want to do crazy stuff on, on Twitter and, and Instagram, you know, my, my current favorite, and she's got a lot of talent, Miley Cyrus, okay? Uh, you, you, that's the game you play, right? But if you want to become important and all that stuff, you've got to accept that if you're not making music that's who you really are, I don't know. I think Led Zeppelin, we were talking about with uh, one of the guys earlier, Led Zeppelin made music that was really who they are, and people loved it. And there are other bands out there, um, King Crimson, that made music that was great that didn't sell as many records. But, you know, so I thought that's a tough answer to your question. In general, though, I'd say promote the stuff that represents who you are today. <laughs>